In this animation, we will show a subscapularis tendon repair during a shoulder replacement. Wear and tear arthritis of the ball and socket joint in the shoulder, also known as the glenohumeral joint, may cause enough pain that you decide to have your shoulder replaced. The tendon in the front of the shoulder, the subscapularis, is removed to allow access to the joint. To repair the subscapularis after shoulder replacement, your surgeon can choose from a variety of techniques. In this case, your surgeon removes the muscle with a small piece of bone, a procedure known as an osteotomy. After the bone has been prepped for replacement, your surgeon will pass several suture tapes through the bone. As the new implant is placed into the bone, the suture tapes surround the implant and the final implants are secured into place. The suture tapes are then passed through the subscapularis and the tendon is placed back to its original position. Through a series of steps, your surgeon will connect and tie the suture tapes together, securing the subscapularis back to the bone. This completes the subscapularis tendon repair during a shoulder replacement.